Jane. Sorry. Have you not slept? Not much. It's understandable. Is it? I should offer you counselling. Yeah. Or well, at least a few days off work. Oh, I'd only sit at home thinking. True. I can't do this. No. I better go to bed. Oh, no, no. No, no, no. No, no. had a very close working relationship with my predecessor, Miss Kershaw. And I'm like, yeah, well, don't worry about it, because it's not likely to happen again. And he goes, that's a shame. Are you listening? No. Morning! And he goes, morning. morning! And he goes, I think you found there's a lot of things I know about you. Nudge, nudge, wink, wink. I'm banging on about how he's looking forward to Who's it. Who's this? New boss at our place. Oh, Jane. How are you feeling? Fine. I'm fine. I'm just, you know, didn't sleep much. Is he upset? It's the trauma. Is that the, uh, but the brandy we bought last night? Oh, sorry, it was me. I came down in the night and I drank too much. Oh, and I drank some as well, and uh, I'm sorry. No, it's not a problem. It won't happen again. Uh, no, it won't. Uh, it's what it was for. Oh, I'm going to be late. Uh, Robert, are you, um... Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, phone me. Oh, well. And it's like she trusts me all over again, and it's perfect. It's better. It's weird, isn't it? Those two get on a bus, and it's like it was meant to happen. Oh, sex and death. Death makes people feel fruity. Is that true? God knows. Are you, uh, are you still thinking of asking her to marry you? No, though? no. I think I was just overreacting, you know. Okay. I, I was jumping in for the wrong reasons. But listen. Look out. I really appreciate you, uh, you listening. It was, um, it helped. OK, you groped him a bit. And you did have your tongue down his throat. And you're sorry. You regret it. You wish you could chop your hands off and pretend it never happened. And you feel like crap. What more do you want? Hello? Jane, it's your mum. You'll never guess. I've won a couple of tickets to see Murder by Measure in the West End. All right. It was a raffle at the church, your Auntie Linda's lot. Is this coming Thursday? I'm sorry it's such short notice, but can I come and stay with you and Richard? Yeah, of course you can. Your dad can't take time off work, same as me, but... You could come with me to see the play, couldn't you? Yeah, yeah. If you fancied. So if I came tomorrow and stopped until Saturday, would that be all right? Yeah. And I wouldn't be in anybody's way? No, no, I don't think so. I mean, I'd like to see where you live and everything, so... Check the train times, then, see what I'm doing. Right. And I'll speak to you later, then, love. All right, see you then. Bye, bye, bye. What's going on? I just asked him questions. What about? Yeah. Yeah, you heard. I got raped. Three o'clock this morning, just round the corner. Yes, yeah, but you know where it was, didn't you? What he said. Helen. Don't scream, please. 
please, don't scream. I've, I've done something stupid. Wow. And you've got to help me. No, I don't. Right. It was me that scratched that thing on your locker. Did you do that to Helen? Christ, no. Look, look, it was just a joke, right? It was just a stupid, pathetic joke. And I know now how not funny it is, and, and I'm really sorry, all right? I'm, I'm really, really... If you report it, if you tell them, then McLean will find out and I'll get the sack, cos I'm on my last warning. After that argy-bargy. Yesterday. With Ellen. You wouldn't sack and write shit like that on people's lockers. Yeah, I know. I know. And I don't even know why I did it. Except that I'm stupid and I always have to be doing something. It didn't occur to you to just scratch it out then? After you'd done it? I was just coming back to do that, wasn't I? I don't know. I don't know what you were doing. I don't know how people like you think. People like me? What does that mean? Do you really think that I could do something like that? To, to her? What? Right in your next on people's lockers. That's the obvious next thought, isn't it? And you had that fight with her. Look, I might be whatever I am. And I might not like her sort, but bloody hell. Do you think that? Right. So. I'm going to go back there and scratch that off. And then we're going to pretend that it was never there. All right? And are you going to stop behaving like a twat every time you clap eyes on me? Yeah. I am. Things are going to be different. And are you sorry for dumping me in the middle of nowhere and tripping me up when I was training? Yeah. I'm sorry. Right, then. Right, can I just... No! You don't get anywhere near my locker. You don't touch my locker. Well, I'd rather... No, you leave it. I don't dub you in it, and you don't touch my locker ever again. Finish late, you wait for the minibus. You go in the lock-up, you go with another driver. You see anything suspicious, you report it. Cup of tea, Jane. I've already. Yeah, we've well, got two now. CB's a friendly fool. Oh, cos... He's mental. What time are you finishing tonight, Jane? Oi, where's mine, Ramsey? Half past nine. You can buy your own. Have you got your car, yeah? No, I haven't. The alternator's gone. Right, you ring your boyfriend to come and walk you home, all right? Where was you at three o'clock this morning? I was at home in bed. Already spoke to the police. All right. Where was he? Oh, I was here, mate. <laughs> when she staggered in with blood dripping off her face. All right. He thinks it's his fault. Why? He asked her to drive the night bus, then he never checked out how she was getting home. I said, what can you do? She's a grown-up. If she chooses to walk home at three o'clock in the morning, well, that's her business. You know what he's like. Do you want that? I do. Hey. <laughs> oh, Jane. How are you doing? My alternator's gone. I heard. I'll fix it for you. Can you? For you, babe. I took it to this garage and I said 150 quid and I've just not got... Yeah, I'll sort it. Not at the moment. Not that I'm complaining. Well, no. Well, if you could, I'd be very grateful. It's done. That's very kind of you. Have a nice bloke. I know that. 
You're about the only one that does. Am I? It's Mrs. giving it the old cold shoulder. Is she? Mm. Why am I telling you? You heard about Helen? Ah. Uh, what? She was asking for it. Was she? Why? Well, it was three in the morning. She thinks she's a fellow. She isn't. Can I walk you home? No, you're all right. Oh, go on, let me buy you a drink. No, honestly, I, I rang my boyfriend and he said he'd pick me up. Jane, can I uh, walk you home? No, thanks. Um... No, go on. Oi, Mush, I'm walking around. Honestly, it's fine. My boyfriend said it, he'll be outside now, waiting for me. What if he isn't? Well, if he ain't, then I'll look after her. Get lost, I'll look after her. Honestly! Hi. Oh. Hello. Uh, Richard couldn't come. He, uh, he got delayed in town, so... Uh, well, he, he rang me to explain that you needed picking up. Someone got raped. He said. Right, then. Thanks, then. Uh, when do you want me to pop in and look at your alternator? Oh, whenever it's convenient. Is this your motor? No, I, I can sort that out for you. Mind your own business. I'm offering to help. Nobody needs your help. I I'll catch you later. Do you want to go for a drink? Do you think I should go and visit Helen? I don't know. Neither do I. I don't know her that well. I just... You know, last night? Yeah. We kissed? Yeah. Oh, shit. Did I tell you my mother's coming? No. Tomorrow, three nights. It was nice. Look. I don't want you to think I don't like you, because I do. A lot. You didn't kiss me just to get your own back on Richard, did you? No! I don't know. Did I? I don't know. You know, you can analyse these things too much sometimes. get in last night? Oh. I went for a drink with Robert. And we got talking. You are right? My mother's coming. Oh, that's good. Enjoy that. Yeah. Do you, um... Back to your shower. Hmm? Hmm? What the hell on earth do you think you're playing at? Once, excusable, possibly, just. Twice, you're playing with fire. You don't do things like this. You're not that sort of person. You're ordinary and boring and good, actually. I'd come and look at your bus. I thought you were going straight to the house. Do you know, I can't remember the last time I was on one of these. How are you? I'm fine. Are you knocking off? Yeah. I'd love a cup of coffee. In there? I don't think... What? You'd like it. No, I don't think I would, but I'd be interested in having a look. I told him I 
says, I says straight, I says, you're a wanker. He says, who are you calling a wanker? I says, you yeah. <laughs> So, is there anybody here you have anything in common with? No, not exactly. But people are friendly enough. And most of the time, like, they're driving, so... Anyway, I'm looking forward to it. Not that I've ever been one for the theatre, much. Still, it's free. And it's nice to get away from your dad for a few days. Is it? What are these policemen doing here? Oh, a driver got attacked driving the night bus night before yesterday. Mom! How? It wasn't here, it was uh, in a street around the corner. How? She... She? She was beaten up. On her way home. Beaten up? By who? She was raped. They don't know. You see, that's exactly why me and your dad aren't happy about any of this. You should have gone straight to the house. Ring the civil service up. It won't be too late. I'm sure they'd offer you something. Oi, oi. Sid! Hi, this is me mum. Mum, this is Sid. I bought the car off. How'd you do? Delighted. <laughs> Needed that. Here. You heard the news? Uh, yes, James. Yeah, it's a just... shame it was so dark, eh? If he'd have seen her face, he might have changed his mind. Hey, eh? poor bastard. Still, from her point of view, if it'd have been any lighter, she might have missed a chance, wouldn't she? Eh? <laughs> I mean, I'm not responsible for his marriage. Do you see what I'm saying? Because my other philosophy is you're only young once. He's not as gorgeous as what he thinks he is. But so what? And the thing is, he is married. But then. So was the other one, you know, the one I was telling you about. And he messed me around big time, large style. So, didn't he, Jane? So, my philosophy is, I'm having a laugh. And if he wants to play away from home, good for him. Good for me. Yes, well, nobody can argue with that. I mean, relationships these days, every man for himself. I'm sorry, but that's the way of the world. Yes, increasingly, it would appear so. Oh. 6.30. That's me in Titch shower. He's coming at 7. See you later. I imagine you will. And how's the Department of Trade and Industry, Richard? Oh, it's, it's fine. Um, it's, it's, it's fine. It's, it's, it's a bit boring, actually. Is it? Yeah, at the moment. Robert. Oh, hello. Uh, Lorraine, this is Robert. Compton Lewis. Robert, this is Lorraine Hall, Jane's mum. Hello. Hello. I've heard a lot about you. Have you? Have you? Are you going to eat with us? Uh, no, thank you. Well, th there's loads. I've, um... No, honestly. Go on. No, I'm... I've got gastroenteritis. Have you? So, well, since when? Uh, thanks all the same, but I'll, uh... You should be in bed. He looks pale. You want fluids, Robert. You can dehydrate. Yes, I'll, uh... See you. Definitely not himself. Not for a few days. You've tidied up. Yes. And I've mended your curtain. You should have come downstairs. It only needed tidying up at the end, if you'd bother. It'll not fall off again. I've brought you some tea. I'll shut this window. That's got rid of that smell, anyway. Now then, the play starts at 7.30, so I strongly recommend we both get to the theatre no later than 7 o'clock. Oh, shit. Shit. Richard, it's me. You're gonna hate me. Why? The bus has broken down. And? And it's going to take the engineers two hours to get out to me. I'm not going to be able to meet my mum at the theatre. Well, why are you telling me? You couldn't go there instead of me, could you? I'm sorry, I'm desperate. I'll love you forever. If I don't turn up, she'll panic. She'll... I don't know, but I'll never hear the end of it ever, all right, ever. All right, all right, but listen. Are you going to be all right walking home from work? Uh, yeah, yeah. Ring Robert. Uh, yeah, yeah. 
No, promise me. Yeah. Jane? That's where it happened. Where? Over there, beyond them shops. How do you know? I'll keep my ears to the ground. Not both at the same time, obviously. It's all cordoned off. Is it? Went and had a look. How could anybody do that to somebody? Well, I don't know. It's a mystery to me why anyone would want to do her. Unless, like I said, it was so dark. Why do you not like her so much? Oh, because she's a snotty bitch. I've always found her very... Yeah, I'll tell you what, Jane. None of it would have happened if I'd have walked her home that night. I bumped into her when she was leaving. I just knocked off myself. I smiled at her like I always smile at everybody. And I was like, good night. And she looked me up and down like I was something she trod in. It was on the tip of my tongue. Can I walk you to your car, love? Can I walk you home? But then I get this look. And she doesn't even reply to me. So, sod her, all right? She asked for it. I thought you had gastroenteritis. Oh. Yes. <sighs> Better. Where's Karen? Kickboxing. You're joking? No, no, she's a brown belt. Really? <laughs> no, I don't know where she is. Where's, um... He's taking my mother to the theatre. It should have been me, only my bus broke down. He stepped in? Yeah. That was good of him? Yeah, it was. He is. He is? He... Is. He's... <laughs> 